Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 11675. In the name of Joe Fitzpatrick, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out revisions to the business programme for this week. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press the request to speak button now. And I call on Joe Fitzpatrick to move motion number 11675. Formally moved. No members asked to speak against the motion, therefore I now put the question to the Chamber. The question is that motion number 11675, in the name of Joe Fitzpatrick, be agreed to. Are we all agreed? The motion is therefore agreed to. The next item today is topical questions. Question 1, Alison Johnson. Um, thank you. To ask the Scottish Government how the development of wave power technology will be affected by the company Palamis entering administration. Minister Fergus Ewing. Uh, presiding officer, the news that Palamis Wave Power has gone into administration is deeply disappointing. I have spoken with the administrators of Palamis and with the, some of the main players in the wave sector to express my continued support for the development of Scotland's wave industry. This will be an anxious time indeed, presiding officer, for the employees of Palamis, most especially at this time of year. And we stand ready to support affected employees through. Uh, partnership action for continuing employment and indeed I raised this with Blair Nimmo just this morning. Wave Energy's development has been hampered by the investment uncertainty facing the, un the energy sector more generally during the UK government's reforms to the electricity market. Palamis's administration is a setback for the sector. It brings into sharp focus the difficult environment in which the sector operates but we should not lose sight of the monumental achievements the industry has made. Full-scale machines have been tested at sea. The sector has amassed a huge body of technical data, knowledge and experience. And the wave and tidal sectors have invested more than £217 million in Scotland to date. The Scottish Government's belief in the potential future success of wave energy is undiminished. I have therefore announced a new model of support for the development of wave power technology, Wave Energy Scotland. It will promote collaboration between industry and academia to solve the common challenges facing the sector. It will first seek to retain the intellectual property and know-how from device development in Scotland for future benefit. Second, assist Scotland's indigenous technologies towards commercial readiness in the most efficient and effective manner and in a way that allows the public sector to exit in due course and finally, avoid duplication in funding to encourage collaboration between companies and research institutes. We have produced a fact sheet, presiding officer, with further details on the objectives of Wave Energy Scotland, and I have placed a copy in SPICE. Um, I th Alison Jones. Thank the Minister for his response. The Minister will be aware that Palamas are responsible for a £70 million net contribution to the Scottish economy. They employ 56 people in Orkney and in Lothian and, and more in associated industries and services. You'll be aware that they're technically better placed than ever. They have a timeline for commercial wave farms. Can the Minister put any Scottish government funding decision on hold and can he intervene as strongly as possible to allow further consideration of all options for Palamas? Minister. Uh, well, I welcome uh, Alison Johnson and her party's support for the wave and tidal sector in Scotland. That support is appreciated and it has been consistent. Uh, Palamas is in administration. The Scottish government, Scottish enterprise have looked extremely closely at the whole situation uh, and we believe that the best outcome is to establish Wave Energy Scotland and uh, we have already received from the sector uh, welcomes to this initiative from Lindy Leask, Lindsay Leask, the Senior Policy Manager of Scottish Renewables uh, and also from Professor Stephen Salter, the founding father of Wave Energy Technology uh, and from several other players with whom I've had initial discussions. We and she, I believe, are wholly committed to the future of wave energy in Scotland, and we believe the best way to ensure collaboration, to bring the best minds together, to harvest the IP, to ensure that we work to seek common convergence for both offshore and nearshore solutions, is Wave Energy Scotland, and we are committed to making that succeed. Alison Jones. Um, thank you. I think the Minister will understand that Palamas is now a very vulnerable target for buyout. 
and a low offer could see us lose our industrial lead, perhaps to, to a company overseas for a technology that we may be buying back within the near future. You know, Palamas have brought this technology out of the lab and into the ocean, and while we very much support the creation of Wave Energy Scotland, um, I'd like to understand how many such jobs it will provide. And I'd be grateful for the Minister's comments on what kind of support the Scottish Government will offer now to help Palamas and its employees. Minister? Well, well I'm aware, signing officer, as Alison Johnson correctly states, that the employees of Palamas, uh, around 55 or 56 employees, uh, are some of the uh, most uh, advanced in terms of the engineering solutions for the wave energy sector. Uh, wave Energy Scotland will, we anticipate, be able to provide opportunities uh, for employment for some of those experts in the sector, uh, but its function will be primarily to bring together the best minds in the sector, to bring together and preserve for Scotland the IP, and to look at developing the best solutions in what is an extremely challenging sector. Malcolm Chisholm. I'm also a great supporter of Wave Energy, and I've always been very proud to have uh, Palamas based uh, in my uh, constituency. So will uh, the Scottish Government do uh, everything possible to uh, stabilise the situation uh, at Palamas, to save uh, the key staff who are there and who are global leaders uh, in wave power uh, expertise? I welcome the creation of Wave Energy Scotland, and can he, either through Wave Energy Scotland or in other ways, act now to make sure that these jobs are kept here in Leith and that the wave technology continues to be developed because it is admired, uh, the work that Palamas has done is admired throughout the world. Minister. Um, well, I, I, I certainly agree with the sentiments that Malcolm Chisholm expects. I mean, it will not be possible for Wave Energy Scotland to employ uh, the numbers on the scale of the, uh, of the headcount of Palamas. That will not be possible. But we do hope to seek to retain the best brains in Scotland. I would point out, uh, Presiding Officer, that the difficulties facing the wave energy sector have been experienced in Ireland, in Australia and elsewhere throughout the world. However, at the same time, we understand that there is substantial support from the European Union in its Blue Energy Plan published uh, earlier this year and inclusion of ocean energy in its set plan. And therefore, there is the prospect of support from the EU uh, for marine energy in future, and we will use every avenue to ensure that we maximise that potential support. Rob Gibson. Officer, um, in the light of the unfortunate Palamas administration, um, can the Minister tell me if the UK Government has made it clear on its policy of support for wave power projects in Scottish waters? as such a developing technology with such huge importance for climate change mitigation needs secure seed money and steady government support. Minister? Well, I have sought to work with the UK Government over the past uh, three years or so, Presiding Officer, and uh, Greg Barker in particular, uh, was, I think, personally committed to this uh, particular technology, and indeed we together opened the Pentland, Firth and Orkney Waters Marine Energy Park. Uh, I can also tell Mr Gibson that I met in Paris in October with Amber Rudd, his uh, uh, successor, and at that meeting I did ask if Amber Rudd or her senior officials would be prepared to meet with uh, Palamas. Uh, I'm sad to say that, so far as I'm aware, this meeting did not take place, despite her assurances at the time. Uh, we do understand the UK Government are supportive of marine energy in principle, but they are not willing to make any specific commitment until after the UK elections next year. Liam MacArthur. Uh, thank you very much, President. Can I can too join with others in welcoming the announcement in relation to Wave Energy Scotland. As I think has been testified, Palamas is a global leader, born, bred and anchored in Scotland. Uh, from the first to generate electricity from the waves, it's uh, boasted a series of world firsts and indeed world only. It's an impeccable health and safety record and the economic benefit uh, that Alison Johnston uh, alluded to. Uh, the Minister is correct that the value of the company remains in the expertise and the experience uh, of those employed. So does he accept that given the uncertainty and risks of administration that we have perhaps days, possibly weeks, but certainly 
certainly not months, uh, to reach a solution in relation uh, to Palamas. Uh, and would you agree that Palamas provides an excellent, indeed the ideal, foundation for Wave Energy Scotland? Minister. Uh, well, we have been very supportive of, uh, of uh, Palamas, and we have uh, contributed through Scottish Enterprise fairly substantial funds, although a very small part of the funds, most of which were contributed by the private sector. Uh, however, I, I should, in fact, presiding officer, dispute the suggestion which Mr. MacArthur has made, I believe, in the press, that had a short-term loan been made available to Palamas, that that would have secured its future. That is simply not the case. And I think, for the record, I should mention that. But I do agree with his sentiments that Palamas led the way in the sector, and they led the way because of the human expertise of the people who work for them. And that human expertise is something that we will do our very best to retain in and for Scotland. Thank you. That ends topical questions. The next item of business is a debate on motions number 11672.